Hey, you've probably seen the news about Google Photos, haven't you? And the headlines are reading, and it's, this is a bait and switch. And Google ends free storage. And we've been betrayed by Google again. I'm Jim. Here along with my wife, Chris, we're Geeks on Tour, and we teach about smartphones and technology. Chris's specialty is Google Photos. She's a platinum product expert, and she wrote the book, Learn Google Photos. So what does all this mean, Chris, huh? Well, if you are one who is upset by the announcement, I, I do understand. As you said, I wrote a book on Learn Google Photos, and several places in this book, it mentions the fact that you get unlimited storage of all of your photos and videos for free. That was a huge selling point. Well, now they have announced that it will be free no more. Starting June 2021, the policy of free unlimited storage is ending. My main message to you, though, is don't panic. <laughs> Take it from my little friend here, Helpful Harry, and he's going to tell you... Relax, calm down now. Don't stress. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> really, because it is just nowhere near as bad as people are saying it is. Let me, let me explain some details. Number one, the changes don't take effect until June 2021, so you have a full six months to figure out what you need to do. Number two, everything that is in your account being stored for free right now stays free after June 2021. That is huge. I have been using the Google account to store my photos for free ever since 2006. First, it was using Picasso Web Albums. Then it was using Google Plus Photos. And since 2015, it's been using Google Photos. But it's all been in the same cloud storage location. So I have nearly 100,000 photos and, say, 300 gigabytes of photos and videos stored in my Google account. They are being stored now for free because I've selected the high quality size setting. And after June 21, they will still be free. That's, that's huge, 300 gigabytes that I get for free. After June, any new files that you upload will count against your 15 gigabytes, but you still get 15 gigabytes free. And for a lot of people who don't take as many photos as I do, that's quite a bit. So let's take a look at the actual announcement. If you go to your Google Photos account, photos.google.com, on the web, and make sure you're logged in with your account. This is somebody else's account, not mine, because I'm already paying for the extra gigabytes. That's another story. And you click on the gear for settings, you will see the actual announcement. Important update about your high quality storage. Click on learn more. And it tells you starting June 2021, New photos you back up in high quality will count. Check the backup settings on your Google Photos app to make sure that you are backing up in high quality. Why we're changing. So I want to look at each of these points. Why we're changing. This is Google talking. Today, over a billion people are backing up a remarkable 28 billion photos to Google Photos each week. In order to welcome even more of your memories and build for the future, we are making this change. Huh? Uh, let, let me try to translate. Google is telling us that it no longer makes business sense to provide free storage for an unlimited amount of photos and videos when if they want to continue to support a quality product for us. 
if they want to continue to support a quality photo product where we are continuing to upload photos, they need to start charging for it. That's, that's the interpretation. It's a, it's a business decision for them. But look at this next one. Your existing photos and videos won't be affected. Photos and videos backed up in high quality before June 2021 won't count towards your free 15 gigabytes. So guess what? Upload now. <laughs> if you need a motivation, if you need a deadline for uploading all of those photos that have been on your list, now you have one. If you upload them in high quality before June 2021, they will remain free. Now this next one is why I had you go to your account to look at the announcement rather than just a website because we estimate your free 15 gigabytes of storage will last more than four years. This is for this person's account that doesn't upload a whole lot and doesn't use a lot of Gmail and Google Drive because they count against your storage also. So this is a personal L estimate according to them, that starting from today, based on how often you back up your content, you will, you will have four years at the 15 gigabytes of free. So, I, you know, that's pretty good. And then you will have more options. So you will still be able to upload in high quality, which means your photos are about half the size of what your camera actually took and that's going to save you storage going forward. And then if you do exceed your 15 gigabytes of free, there are storage options. So let's look at some questions. I store my photos in original quality. What does this announcement mean to me? Absolutely nothing. If you have been using the original quality setting, then you have not been taking advantage of the free high quality so nothing changes for you come next June. The change is only for the high quality that they will start counting after June 21. If all my photos are in high quality, what happens to them on June 1, 2021? Nothing. They stay the same. You will not be charged. They do not count. They won't show up. So what do I mean by showing up? Let me, let me show you where, where you go to see your storage. Storage features are all under this thing called Google One. So if, you, if you're logged into your account and you go to one.google.com and click on storage, it will tell you, you have 15 gigabytes of free storage and you've used one. This person has used one. 1.8 and 1.02 of that is in Gmail and 0.06 of that is in Google Photos. So that's where you tell what you've used. So if that's good, with, if you're okay with your photos being high quality, you want to make sure that all of your photos are in high quality before June 2021. What should I do now to get the most storage for free? Well, I already mentioned the one. First of all, upload everything you can now and make sure that everything you have uploaded is in high quality. Let me show you that in just the Google Photos. Under Settings, it is in high quality. Well then, why was there 0.02 gigabytes being used? If all of her content is in high quality, it should show zero as to account storage used. You can just click right here that says recover storage. So what it means is probably by accident, some photos got uploaded in original quality. If you just come here and recover storage, recover 72 megabytes of storage by compressing and you click compress and it sometimes takes a little bit depending on how many you have. Your goal is to be able to look at your storage under your Google One account 
and see that Google Photos is taking up zero. And it will when that process is done. So go and upload everything, making sure that you have selected high quality, both on the web version and on your phones. Select high quality. Lastly, if you still say, I just want to leave Google on principle, are there other photo storage services? Of course there are, but none of them are free. None of them are even as inexpensive as Google will be after next June. I did write an article with answers to all of these questions, so let me show you how to get there. If you go to learngooglephotos.com, and go down to the blog, you will see Google Photos free unlimited storage is ending. Here's everything you need to know. So read through this. Here's all the details. And if you still have questions, you can leave it in the comments. I'm going to be sticking with Google Photos. I love my Google Photos. It has my entire lifetime of photos and videos there. I get to share them with people very easily. It's fast. It's easy. Nothing else matches the feature set of Google Photos. And even if I have to pay $20 a year, I'm paying so much more to others just to have a backup of my Google Photos. It's, I think it's well worth it, and I, I love my Google Photos, so. So, it's not that big of a deal, huh? It's really not. <laughs> I mean, if, if any other service told you that they were just upping their price by $20 a year, hmm. would people think it was a big deal? No. Now, yeah. Maybe. Be because people have been storing their lifetime of photos for free, you know, that, that it is a big deal that that is changing. But I don't think it's anything to stress over. I think it would have been nice if they had known five years ago that they would need to do this. But hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, I don't. I mean, some people do think that they did this intentionally to bait and switch. I don't. I don't. I don't. This is the way that Google is a huge company. Usually a huge company moves very slowly. Well, if you move slowly in today's day and age, you're out of it. You're out of business. They have figured out how to move quick. They throw out these products and see what sticks. If it sticks, they have to start charging for it. If it doesn't stick, they kill it. I would certainly rather start paying than having Google Photos be killed. Absolutely. So if you have any questions about this, put them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook pages. Anything else? That's it for me. That's it for me. I'm Jim. I'm Chris. And we're Geeks on Tour.